Welcome to this presentation. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of uh, who I am. Uh, so my name is Nash Kadavra. If you haven't met me before, you should. I'm incredible fun, apparently. Uh, I've been subscribed since 2006, uh, and I say subscribed, and so I don't say play, uh, because uh, I am also terribly bad at actually logging into EVE. It's been uh, about six months, I think. I do a lot of things for EVE, but uh, yeah, subscribed rather than play is uh, the correct choice of words here. Um, <clears throat> I say ex-blogger because uh, I started out uh, my uh, fake EVE fame by being a blogger. Uh, but I haven't actually blogged anything for quite some time as I'm too busy with some of the stuff that we're talking about today. Uh, a bastard. I am certainly a bastard, which is uh, an easy one, uh, but I'm actually a bastard in-game, uh, and uh, I always will be. Uh, the bastards are uh, the corporation of my heart, and I love these people very much, even though it's just me and the corporation at the moment. <laughs> I'll get to that. Uh, so, uh, even T founded since 2014, um, which is obviously what this presentation is about. We're going to talk a little bit about what, we, uh, what we've done, what we have achieved. Uh, but it was founded in 2014 uh, by myself, uh, and uh, we've grown quite steadily since then. So, I'll give you a bit of an introduction to some of the stuff that we do. Uh, and obviously, uh, last year I was also part of the CSM, uh, CSM 11, which I think was a very positive uh, spin, but that's not what this presentation is about. Uh, so, if you've got any questions about that, <coughs> keep them for some other time. Oh, that's... <laughs> cool story, bro. Dude, first slide. <laughs> you know, just, just talk about it. Right. GG. You All right. Just, just talk about it. There we go. So, uh, what do we do as uh, EVENT? Um, we do uh, anything related to community. Uh, so, particularly uh, in-game events and out-of-game events. Uh, we help support other people that would like to do uh, out-of-game events or in-game events. Uh, but we also run the uh, EVENT Nottingham, which is uh, one, of, one of the biggest uh, EVE player meets uh, with some content. Uh, we also acquired uh, and uh, help uh, the EVE London meet. Uh, Dimitri's here, very sexy man over here. Uh, we do some in-game events, I'll talk to you a little bit about it, uh, show you some of the stuff that we've done. Uh, we do community articles and uh, we have some of our EVENT management on stage and they will talk about their individual sections. Uh, so we do um, only positive news, and I'm sure Tiberius will give you a little bit more information about that in just a minute. Uh, we do TV, which is our Twitch channel, obviously. And we have uh, our wonderful Rain just over here. She will tell you a little bit about what we do there. Uh, Esports, which I think uh, most people will know us for. And we have uh, the one and only Mr. Elise Randolph here to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, he's got a cool video for you as well, which you definitely want to see. And uh, we might give you a little bit of a... Uh, a sneak peek into what's happening at uh, the Alliance tournament as well. Uh, one of the most recent things that we started uh, is ISK Starter, um, which I'll give you a brief rundown of and uh, tell you how it works and why we did it. Um, and um, services. So we, we, other than community projects, uh, both in and out of game, we also do uh, various services and tools, which you can find on the website. And if I don't fuck this up, uh, I will give you a demonstration. Two. Is that my two? That's One. That two. I cannot say the F word anymore. <laughs> okay. So, uh, where did we start? Uh, we started with the first EVENT, uh, like I said, in 2014. Uh, this was a very crazy idea uh, after uh, I went to an EVE London meet, actually. Uh, I'd actually quit playing EVE Online and intended never to return. So, I sold all my stuff, gave away my characters, and uh, uh, I basically had nothing. And then I thought it was a good idea to go and see Dimitri in London. And uh, I got very drunk and I enjoyed spending time with my bastard bros. And uh, I returned, poor. Um, so since I returned, I, uh, I appreciated what uh, Dimitri had done in London. And I really wanted to sort of emulate that and uh, uh, contribute to the community and, and kind of give back what I really appreciated uh, in my experience there. So um, we basically concocted between the bastards uh, a bit of an Eve meet, which quickly got out of hand. Um, I intended to get at least 50 people together, uh, because otherwise that would be very difficult for my, uh, my job uh, as I held this event at my work. And I had to justify getting 50 nerds to uh, my bar and to, you know, justify this to the bus. So I said there will be at least 50 people. Um, so I started putting uh, a little bit of advertising out and uh, quickly got out of hand. Uh, about 180 people signed up to come. 
uh, for the very first one, uh, which put a little bit of pressure on. Uh, I felt that you know, we needed more content. We were not going to be uh, just a pub meet. So we started adding things like tournaments, uh, games, uh, content, presentations, all these kind of things. Um, so to give you a bit of, a, bit of an idea on uh, some of the difficulties that we've had with this, uh, some of the hardest things to deal with if you want to do something like this uh, is dealing with sponsors <laughs> uh, and dealing with CCP. Uh, I love these guys very much and their community team is really dedicated in helping you out. So if you want to do something like this, uh, don't be too scared. Um, but you got to be realistic as well. Uh, that organizing content meets can be extremely time consuming. Um, it can be quite uh, difficult to deal with sponsors who let you down at the last minute. Um, and uh, the same goes for CCP, like their budgets change or um, their roadmap might not necessarily fit with what you'd originally planned uh, and therefore, uh, you know, you need to be prepared to be let down. So um, just be ready for those kind of things. Um, what else do we do? So we do, uh, we've done one Cardiff meet, uh, but I'm not sure we're going to do, uh, thank you. Cool, that was all right. Did you enjoy it? Excellent. Uh, we might do another one, uh, but it was uh, mainly organized by one of our chaps, Takeda Kashana, and since I tried to sleep with his cousin, I'm not sure uh, we are going to have another one. <laughs> uh, and then we obviously do London, like I said. Uh, Dimitri has joined the team. Um, we basically share assets. Uh, so the London meet has been around for nearly 10 years, Dimitri. 12, sorry. Um, and it was originally started by CCP Falcon before he was CCP Falcon. It's now run by Dimitri. Uh, it's a pub meet in London, it's uh, super cool, and if you live in or around London, you should definitely go. If you live a little bit further, you should also go. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, solely run by Dimitri, but uh, where we can, we share assets and we share marketing, and that's basically where we help out. Um, I put a little note on there saying what's next, uh, because I really wanted to announce where we're going to go next with EVENT uh, Nottingham. Uh, it's potentially not going to be EVENT Nottingham anymore, it's potentially going to be EVENT Birmingham. <laughs> Uh, we are very close to signing some contracts with uh, Insomnia, uh, which is a very big gaming event uh, and convention in uh, Birmingham. Uh, and they're expecting about 100,000 people through the door in the week that uh, we're going to be attending there. Uh, and uh, yes, I provisionally say this is going to happen and it will be the last weekend in August and it's going to be effing off awesome, I think. So, but uh, yeah, you'll hear more news about that uh, very soon. Uh, In-game events, um, so as you may have noticed, if you watch uh, anything on our website at all, I'll try to follow the, the sort of tabs on our website. If you haven't been to our website, make sure you do. It's uh, www.evetacnt.uk. Um, we also have a section called In-game events. Um, <laughs> uh, we basically have some crazy ideas from time to time, and sometimes it's a simple uh, frigate free-for-all or something like that. Uh, but we also did the uh, now well-known I Want Isk Titan event. Uh, some of you that know me will remember that one. Uh, we did, uh, the last one we did actually was the Eve Bet Piñata before uh, Rip Bet hit, uh, where we basically ejected uh, 400 billion Isk worth of ships um, into space from a pause, which was uh, good fun. We had about 3,000 people attending that one. And uh, yeah, so uh, we do these kind of things ourselves. If you're interested in uh, doing something like this yourself, uh, please register on the website. There is a, like an in-game calendar uh, where you can register your event, and this could be NPSI fleets, uh, frigate free-for-alls, or you know any crazy idea in-game which is public or uh, community-focused. Uh, you can register on there, and we will help you uh, advertise and get people to know about it. This is Tiberius Stargazer. So uh, the next section is indeed uh, uh, our media section. Uh, and we certainly are not uh, Eve News 24 or INN. Um, and uh, I think you can. I can take it from here. You can take it from here. Thanks, buddy. Cool. How do I go forward? Huh? How do I go forward? Uh, just tap that one. That one. Good. Right. Good. Hey. So. Uh, hey, I'm Tobias Stargazer. Some of you may know me from um, past history. Uh, I'm not going to read my slides and take, make the cardinal sin of doing that, but I'm going to just point out one thing. I'm not General Stargazer. He's over there somewhere. Hello. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, scrapped since 2012. Uh, I'm the editor-in-chief of Eve NT. I've been writing about Eve and Eve in general since for the last three years now. Um, I'm in NT Dot. I'm wearing my shirt. Thanks, Corpies. Uh, my Corpies wanted to say, 
Like tips to beer, usually drunk, happy when drunk, salty when not. It's very true if you sit on comms with me at home. So the website has a team uh, that looks after it. Uh, there's six people here. Um, and they all contribute little parts of it. My job is basically to say, hey, you guys want something to be put onto the site. You want to promote an event, you want to promote a tournament, whatever it may be, just maybe you want to talk about the event you've been to. Um, so it's my job to find that information. And it goes down to these guys. Um, we've got General Stargazer, who edits a lot of stuff. He makes sure that my spelling's okay, when usually it's not. Um, we've got Ellie, who also edits as well. And she's down there. Um, but she's also our tournament analyst, so used to work for, uh, used to do some stuff for League of Legends. Yep, got that right. Um, doing tournament analysis and things like that for there, so she now does it for, for us, uh, which is great because the spreadsheets are crazy. Um, we've got Vita, who is my, like, without him, the entire website just wouldn't exist. He built this whole thing up from scratch, and I sent him a message and go, hey, can you build it, please? And he goes, yes, done. Uh, we've got Roden uh, and Laloka, who do our writing and marketing, and uh, Aleski Askin as well, who's also a writer. And this has gone wrong. <laughs> gone right. I'm doing it right. How can I not do it right? It's two buttons. <laughs> it's hard, man. There we go. It's really hard. There we go. Um, so, what do we publish? We cover all following follow a lot of stuff exclusively for CCP produced games. Uh, that'd be tournament promotion, tournament reviews, analysis, in-game events, things like that. Um, and that's basically what we're looking for um, because we need your community news. Um, it's easy enough for me or one of the team to go on to the forums and find out, but there's loads of stuff. You guys do like loads and loads of different events all over the place and we want to hear about them because we want to promote them. We want to write about them. We want to share what you know you guys get up to, uh, whether it be your own little tournaments or your MPSI fleets or whatever. Um, so if you do any of these things, I would like to hear from you. Um, you can get in contact with us via our Twitter, uh, eventhq, uh, or you can get in contact by email, uh, info eventuk. And now this is rain section. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> you cannot stop me. So they made a YouTube video instead of having slides. With no sound. Oh, no sound. Oh. Sounds for sure. <laughs> can we put it on loop? <laughs> <laughs> so for those who can't tell Photoshop, that is not my body. Oh. I don't have that color hair either, and I can't hold that face for that long. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah. So hi, I'm Rain, also known as Chocolate Rain. I believe, yep, so my Twitter handle's there. So I run the TV side of EventT, so I pretty much make a schedule, get everyone together, figure out who goes where, who streams what. We currently have 35 or more hours of streaming weekly for CCP games, which includes currently Valkyrie, as well as obviously EVE Online. And then we have a variety of streamers. So like Valkyrie is very simple, one, one type, whereas like Eve is massive sandbox. We have market trading, PVP, PVE, et cetera. We have some people who cater more towards those who are experienced with the game, as well as people who cater towards newbies. So we have a lot of content. Um, I obviously don't need any slides because I'm just gonna be here and say, if you wanna stream with us, contact me on Twitter. I have DMs open, so you do not have to follow me. Just like send me a message and say, hey, I'm a streamer, I wanna stream with you. But you can check out our, um, our Twitch page. So it's eve underscore nt underscore tv. Same place we do the tournaments. Same place for everything that we do. Woo! Fuck yeah! <laughs> okay, uh, so next up we actually have EQ. This is you, man. Why do you so, applause for me? I don't know, because it was funny. <laughs> uh, so EQ is uh, one of uh, one of our two top streamers at the moment in terms of uh, their technical ability, uh, and he does a lot of our esports at the moment as well. But he's going to tell you all about it. Okay, so yeah, I intentionally used Comic Sans. So <laughs> that face is 
comes up very often along with my really angry face and the sounds of because the OBS tends to, to crash all the time. But yeah, uh, anyway, I'm Equalizer. Uh, I do streaming for uh, competitions for EventT uh, along with Turing and Biohazard, who I'm very thankful for because he pretty much uh, gave me all the knowledge required to do so. Uh, we pretty much switch around, for example, now for championships um, each weekend, uh, another one of us was streaming. Um, and uh, yeah, so we kind of share, share the work to some extent. But the most important part is um, trying to explain just how much work goes into uh, doing the actual streaming, which is kind of hard to do in those five minutes. Uh, <laughs> so basically what it looks like is I sit on a chair uh, surrounded by three screens. Uh, one screen is the two uh, EVE Online clients on uh, Thunderdome, uh, one of which is there to uh, capture the fancy UI, and the other one is there to capture the actual match itself. Uh, so that basically the camera work that you see on the stream is also me and, and Bio um, like taking care of that so you see everything. We try really hard to uh, sort of make it possible for you to see the, the tactical view of the entire match but also see kind of the close, up close uh, little encounters that happen during the match which is kind of really hard because you know that stuff happens all over the place during the match but um, we manage somehow. Uh, on the middle screen, I usually have the OBS, which uh, is open broadcast software um, that most of you hopefully maybe are aware of. Um, so that's that. And we have like, I have a lot of scenes set up. So I have a scene for uh, the actual studio, which you can see up there with Apophne as the host. I have him via Skype on another screen, capturing him there um, so that I am like in studio. Then we usually, as always, transition from studio to uh, the match itself, where I do, again, most of the work on the screen with the actual clients. Uh, we go back to the studio, and then we usually, at least this time, did picks and bans for um, those things. Usually, during the actual stream on Slack, I get a lot of documents thrown in my face, going like, can you show this on screen? So I kind of have to wing it most of the time. Uh, like the last time I think we had uh, the server for picks and bands crash because of too much traffic and I got like a graph thrown at my, like, my way so I could put it on the stream. Um, <laughs> so people could see why the, the website for uh, Arena is not working. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We just go through this entire cycle continuously until the end of the stream uh, and uh, that's about it. There's a lot of multitasking involved, uh, usually uh, it's, it's, it's kind of fun because it's, it's like an EVE Online, you know, you don't just do one thing at the same time. Like you have to do the OBS, watch the, like, the clients at the same time, whilst also watching the spreadsheet for what the next team is, to switch the names on the overview, and so on. It, there's constantly something going on. Usually, like, it's very rare that I get to sit back during the stream and do nothing. Uh, that's kind of a, a luxury until the end of the stream where I get to go to bed. Uh, but that's about it from my side, uh, usually these people get to enjoy uh, this voice, this voice inside their head, because they, only they can hear me on, on TeamSpeak. So whenever like, they're talking continuously and suddenly stop for a second and then continue, it's usually because I probably screamed something in their, in their ear. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Cool. Uh, I keep forgetting the uh, order of what we're doing. Ah, okay, well, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, part of the, uh, the TV stuff that we do uh, is also uh, Valkyrie. We're trying to get uh, more and more stuff done for this. And uh, the man to lead this side of it uh, for us is uh, the one and only Mr. General Stargazer. Thank you very much. So, my name is General Stargazer. Uh, I've, I'm an old school EVE Online player. I continue to play it to this day. Um, I primarily play Valkyrie kind of Monday to Friday and then play a bit of EVE during the weekend. Um, as you all know, if you're normally sitting down for an EVE session, there's no such thing as like a five or 10 minute game. It's a case of you're gonna sit down for like six hours. Um, so with Valkyrie, the kind of maximum limitation on a game is sort of 10, 15 minutes. So it's kind of ideal to have during the week. So I've ended up adopting Valkyrie for like normal weekdays um, and then a bit of EVE at the weekends. Um, I ended up trying uh, Valkyrie back in 2000, I think it was 2000, 
2015 when the EVR launched. Um, based on that, I ended up buying a Rift, and with the Rift, uh, I've ended up playing Valkyrie nonstop. Um, I stream over on NT uh, Mondays and Tuesdays for three hours on each day in the evenings, um, and we've ended up getting a few other Valkyrie pilots come join us. Um, wow, that was good. It's not just me. What? Good. This makes no sense. There we go. So yeah, I stream Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, Mondays is a stream called Chronicles of the Valkyrie, where the chronicles in the game is basically the, the storyline element of the game. Um, whenever they release a new map on the game, there's a new chronicle that goes with it, so a new storyline, so typically I'll play that first. And then it's uh, whenever there's no new story developments, it's just normal PvP gameplay as with Valkyrie. Um, Tuesdays is what something I like to call Tutorial Tuesdays, where there is a lot of viewers for the game as well that are just interested in learning how to play the game. Um, and the idea of Tutorial Tuesdays is quite simply to try and teach people how to play it. Um, the two other pilots we've got on at the moment is arguably the best Valkyrie player at the moment, who is 1.5, who streams for us on Wednesdays, um, and Rot, who's a fairly new Valkyrie streamer. I say fairly new when he's joined us. Um, I think it was about October last year. Um, he'd started afresh, so it was uh, nice to kind of get the parallel between one being the most experienced Valkyrie pilot and Rock being exactly brand new. So you kind of got a nice balance between the two. Um, Ansgar, who has recently just joined us as well, um, is doing sort of unscheduled streams. We do have a schedule up for EVNT. Um, so basically, whenever there's not something on sometimes, she'll jump in and just do a bit of Valkyrie streaming for us. Um, events, we've done a few events over on EventE as well. Um, last May, we did the first um, EU versus NA Valkyrie tournament. Um, it was a best of five games, and uh, EU won all five games. Um, <laughs> kind of stomped the Americans a little bit, but hey, the most experienced Valkyrie pilots at the time were all on EU, to be fair. Um, but it was a good laugh, it was good fun. Um, we will reschedule another game sometime in the future, I imagine, as well. Um, we did the Game Blast event for um, the charity Special Effects uh, back in February this year. Uh, we raised a whopping 648 quid on the stream, uh, which I'm quite proud of. We had some interesting challenges given to us during the uh, event, including a uh, quite humiliating um, meowing session. Uh, where we had to meow highway to the danger zone. <laughs> okay. It was all for a good laugh. Um, yeah, as I say, we've raised a nice 648 quid. Um, and the other one, uh, the other element I kind of organized is the uh, Valhalla and Ragnarok meets. The Valhalla ones are just the Valkyrie meets here in Iceland or in the UK. Uh, and the Ragnarok ones are the actual events over in the States. Um, we're trying to encourage a few more of the American guys to uh, host their own meets over there as well. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, that's not my slide. <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Woo! I forgot what I was going to say in this, uh, this section. Let me have a look. <clears throat> no, no. Um, so eSports, which is obviously one of the, uh, the biggest reasons why, uh, why people look at our website and crash our arena website and uh, watch our Twitch, which is uh, uh, a little bit that um, Elise will tell you a little bit more about. I'll give you a brief history of where we started, as you can see on some of these pictures. Uh, that is actually my, uh, my office there, yeah. And uh, that's how we started. So we started off with uh, myself running the event side of it, so the, the, you know, the live meet, us getting drunk and just uh, having a good time. Uh, and my friend, you can see here in the middle, on the left there, that's uh, uh, my good friend Bay RJ, and he's our hero, he's our game designer. Um, he uh, basically started a project called Collides, which he uh, sort of did on his own time and got a couple of people together. Tuscus uh, were one of our uh, first groups we really tested on this, and they kept winning everything. Uh, so we had to switch up some of the rules until they're now actually completely out. See here, Sully? I hope he's embarrassed. Um, <clears throat> and we kind of developed this, and uh, as we worked in the same building and spent a lot of time together, we basically decided to, uh, you know, um, to form up together and, and bring the two projects together. Um, so 
uh, we, we always like to joke the fact that we bone on 50% uh, of the same thing. Uh, and it's 50% of nothing <laughs> because we don't actually have anything. But uh, we were the, uh, the, the owners of EventT at that point. So uh, him uh, sharing the uh, eSports program and myself, uh, the, the rest of the uh, community stuff. Now, um, we've developed quite a lot since then. Uh, we've really changed up uh, some of the tournaments that we have. And uh, since we first started, just by the two of us, uh, doing it for my little office and getting all sweaty and horrible is... Uh, that sounds really weird, actually. Um, <laughs> sorry, Bay. <laughs> Stop it. Um, <clears throat> we've, we've developed quite a lot. We've, uh, we've grown the team of uh, commentators. We've grown the team of, uh, of streamers, people involved in terms of the technical stuff. Our website has really developed, uh, uh, specifically the Arena website, uh, run by uh, our good friend Jason. Um, which allows us to broadcast esports in a, in a much better way. So technically, we're in a much better position. Our team is now uh, of such a size that uh, you know we can we can really manage uh, bigger tournaments, which is what we've developed in. So uh, for those of you that remember, uh, one of the bigger ones that we did before we went into the full EVENT Championship were things like Fight Club and Collides. Uh, and now that we have uh, full CCP sponsorship uh, with the uh, IGC skins. Um, we really got to the point where uh, we feel that we can fit uh, into the esports section at least twice a year with uh, something really solid. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Elise may have a few more things to say on that. Nice, I can't wait to break this. All right, so, nope, nope. Is that the, all right. Well, you guys can see a few pictures. As you were talking about um, before, you were talking about the banning tool, some of the tools that we do for uh, EventT. These are some of the cool little pictures. Uh, if you guys were at the round table for the uh, eSports round table, I think it was, uh, there was a bit of complaining about the CCP's banning tool being really clunky and, and scary. This is our version. It's, it's less clunky and less scary. It's pretty great. But I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about you know my favorite part of basically EVE Online, and that's the, the EVE sports aspect. I, I really enjoy Alliance Tournament and everything like it. The competitive scene is very fun. You kind of, uh, it's, a, it's a new look at EVE. It's, it's fresh, new challenges, and in a game when I've been playing since, I think, 2004, uh, new challenges are always something great uh, to have. So it started off, as Nash was saying, with uh, EVE and T collides. There was Fight Club. And uh, what we've moved on to now, and it's entering its third season, is the EVENT Championship Series. Uh, there are two leagues, a major league and a minor league. Uh, we're going to call them upper tier and lower tier, but Chester had a, uh, uh, he wouldn't let us do that. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, the major league, uh, it's basically eight teams. Uh, they all play one another. They get uh, three points for winning, one point for a draw, zero points for a loss. Uh, four points for a domination victory, which was a clean sweep, where they just completely and utterly dominate. Um, and the top four teams, you know, actually every team gets a prize. The IGC skins, they are completely unique to the championship series. They are battleships, and they are the, the EVENT colors. They are pretty, pretty beautiful, and, and you actually guys had a chance, you've missed it now if you haven't done it, to buy uh, skins through the next store. Uh, for the Caracal, Drake, and Cormorant. Similar color schemes, but the battleships are ours. Uh, you guys can't touch them. The only way you can get them is to compete or to buy them off some winners. Um, but yeah, so the way it works, Major League and Minor League, uh, the bottom four teams from the Major League at the end of every season get relegated to the Minor League, and obviously the top four teams from the Minor League get, er, get promoted to the Major League, which is uh, pretty dope. All the prizes are way better in the Major League. You got major next to your name, so that, that's way better. And uh, uh, it's a good incentive, and it's sort of a league format that I don't think the Alliance Tournament could ever really pull, out, pull off, but uh, the way we do it, we can. Uh, we have, oh, and obviously, uh, the, the minor leagues, the bottom four teams, uh, if you aren't good, you get kicked out of the entire league. The only way to rejoin it is what we have called the EVENT Cup. It is a single elimination uh, match for, I think we had 40 teams sign up. So 40 teams, single elimination, top the four best teams get to go on to the minor league and compete 
and earn their way up to the top and stuff like that. So it's, it's really good. Uh, there are some grudge matches that have developed. There are some rivalries. You get to get into the mind of the captains. Uh, it's, it's, it's lovely. I, I absolutely love it. It's completely different from the Alliance Hornet, but so much similar to it that we get the same kind of people. And there are a lot of you guys in the audience now, too. Uh, another interesting thing that we have for the, uh, the EVENT Championship Series is we've changed it a little bit so viewers at home can kind of understand a little bit better because that's always been a stumbling block for the Alliance Tournament to get more people involved. Uh, people just get bogged down by jargon. Even kind of veteran EVE players get bogged down by Alliance Tournament jargon a lot of the time. So what we did to even things out a little bit is we have pre-selected uh, ship fits for all the, uh, all the ships in EVE. That you can compete in. You take one battleship, one battle cruiser, one cruiser, one destroyer, one frigate. It's five on five, that format, exactly the same every single time. And you just go through a picking stage, as you can see right here. So this is the middle screen is what you would see if you were uh, picking your first ship. And uh, you know, it's it's beautiful. But the the reason behind this is that every ship becomes like a it has a role that you will no, and you'll know what that ship does. There will be no guesswork. Uh, it does take away a little bit of part of complexity of competing, uh, because part of competing in the Alliance Hornet is usually coming up in theory crafting insane fits. Like you want to bait Blackbird that everyone has to shoot? Okay, you can do that. Uh, a few teams have done that. Test Alliance somehow have done that. I don't know how they do good things, but sometimes they do good things. <laughs> Hopefully no one from Test is going to hurt me. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the way it works in ours. But to add complexity back, um, because Alliance Hornet, competitive eSports is all about complexity, uh, we have teams that now, the captains, draft their team 30 minutes before they play. Uh, so they pick a frigate, or actually the way it starts is they ban two ships each, then they pick a frigate, pick a cruiser, another stage of banning, uh, or pick a frigate destroyer, ban, so on and so forth. Um, so there's a, a strategy, and the best part about the strategy is no one really knows what it is. Uh, Alliance Tournament, as we saw when we tried to do like uh, the Worlds Collide format, which is very similar to the Alliance Tournament, all the teams that were really good in the AT were also really good in there, so they had a huge, huge advantage. When we wiped the slate clean, no one had that advantage anymore, and they've just been struggling to try and figure it out. And every season, we tweak the fits a little bit. Our tournament director, Bay RJ, uh, he is he is a bay. If you see him, you can give him a hug and kiss him. He's he's beautiful. Um, but he designs all the fits, and if something is too overpowered, he tweaks it. If something's not that po uh, powerful or it doesn't get picked very much, he boosts it up a little bit. Um, his his the way he he does balance passes is amazing. I really like it. Uh, he doesn't really nerf things. He just makes things a little bit better without affecting the power creep. So big shout out to him. But yeah, so. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's just fun to not only watch the competition, but to, to see the stories behind the captains, because now we've put like a, a role that's just not more, it's not ceremonial to be a captain now. You have to be able to draft and pick a team, because you could find yourself halfway through saying, oh, I want to pick a, a rogue team or something, or I want to do a shield comp. You get bamboozled and debated by your opponents, and then you, you don't have any ships left. You're like, shit, I got to take a Tempest now. This doesn't work. So you have to, you know, think on your feet. It really does promote uh, pilots flying together and like uh, not only just theory crafting expertise, you know? So that's, that's, that was basically our, our main goal behind this, was to reward good pilots and good captains who can think on their feet. In terms of how big we are, uh, it's really grown, you know? I remember the, the first time we did World, or, uh, e even T Collides and the, those series, they were like, a few hundred people that were watching, only about 30, 40 people involved. Now we have almost 500 people who compete each season, uh, which is a huge number of people, 500 people playing eSports. That's ridiculous. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can wrap your head around that. Uh, and yeah, and we have 30 staff as well. Like you can see there's some staff here, there's some staff out in the audience. And the fact that we have 500 people and 30 staff is just ridiculous to me. And, and, it just goes to show how much, you know, EVE players kind of love or are slightly interested in, at least, <laughs> their competitive EVE scene. And, and we actually do want to make it better. We want people to, you know, 
be more interested. We want people to have rooting interests. We want people to create rivalries. We want people not to get into fistfights or anything, but, you know, something close, just short of a fistfight. That, that's exactly what we want. And yeah, here are some, uh, some like, pictures of our banning tool as I was talking about. This is the, uh, the added complexity we put in. And um, how do I pull up the video? Oh, do you have video? Let's see. Is this technical? Or? This might be technical. Yeah. So yeah, we will be doing season three, which will begin shortly. It begins, actually the first date is October 1st. And uh, in the middle of September, September 17th, I believe, is uh, when the EVNT Cup will be. So if you have a team or you want to come up with a team and you want to fight, you got you to gotta sign up. You got to be good. But it's coming up soon. You got to get your practice in. I know uh, the, the other team, as you just saw, they were undefeated completely. And uh, Exodunx is being promoted. Can we have sound Bobby for this? Shots is being Please. promoted. Okay. So these are all the, the major league guys. And uh, this is actually my favorite my favorite, I kind of want to go back and pause, but, um, but yeah, it, it's always, the storylines are fantastic, everything is good, uh, you guys should definitely do it. And uh, it does dovetail a little bit into the Alliance Tournament, do you want to talk about the Alliance Tournament, do you want yes. me to? The Alliance Tournament is, that's probably how most of us know, or most of you guys know EVNT, at least in the beginning, was our Alliance Tournament coverage. And. Uh, Yes. Um, so, is there anything uh, interesting about this, it? Honestly, the sound on this video is amazing. It's really good. Like you're missing out. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll show it later. Anyway, uh, yes, we do have a, a brief announcement on the Alliance tournament as well. So, uh, it's uh, it's not like 500 people here, but uh, some of you must have watched the Alliance tournament first weekend last year. Ah, oh, thank fuck. All right, at least somebody saw it. That's great. Um, so we can now confirm. I cannot confirm the dates, although I know. Uh, so don't ask me because I'm not going to tell you. Um, but uh, the Alliance tournament this year uh, will be played over four weekends, uh, of which the first two weekends will be presented by EVNT. Uh, so. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, oh, crap. Did I? I, I messed it up, didn't I? Okay, so um, I'm going to... I, have I broken something? Yep. Is it the sound thing? Yep. It is. There, there is a reason why, uh, why the even T team has grown uh, as much as it has. And um, we, we have now got about 170 people on our Slack. Uh, and uh, each individual project is generally led by one of, uh, one of the managers uh, that leads each project. Uh, and one of our biggest departments is actually the tech department, because I am so bad at it. <laughs> I mean, this is set up to play sounds, and I managed to break it. So. We might get back to this one. Um, so, uh, continuing on uh, what's on our website. Is it going to work? No. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> okay, I've definitely broken it. GG. Um, so, uh, continuing on what's available on the website. Um, I'm sure everybody has uh, seen all the drama last year where um, uh, basically third-party gambling websites went down. Um, this, uh, you know, for some people was uh, more of a drama than others. Uh, there was one thing that is really overlooked uh, when you uh, look at how painful it was for some people, because these organizations, for example, uh, EveBet or less other, uh, less reputable uh, <laughs> uh, third-party players, um, would also sponsor a lot of the community stuff. And whether this is in-game by, uh, you know, buying people ships or by giving events um, uh, stuff to give away or sponsoring esports tournaments and actually being able to pay their staff, which was awesome. Um, that is now gone, and there is no central point uh, to find uh, a place to, to get a sponsor and basically get some money for your project. Uh, uh, and there's also no real place for people to spend money. So we thought, the gap in the market here, right? Uh, so we made uh, ISK Starter. Um, ISK Starter had come and uh, took us a couple of weeks as it had to go through CCP legal uh, uh, various times and uh, back and forth. Uh, we finally had the website approved, uh, and basically uh, it allows uh, people that require some ISK for their community project um, to post up a campaign. It's very much like Kickstarter or Patreon, um, where people can basically post something and, and request money. And this could be uh, streamers asking for a bit of sponsorship, so they don't have to actually rat and uh, make their ISK, um, but they can basically just get some monies through ISK Starter, for example. Uh, this could be uh, websites, uh, places like CZ, Evenews24, Eventy ourselves. 
uh, or uh, things like public roams. You know, um, the requirement for posting a campaign is simply that it has to be a community project. Uh, it has to be something that does stuff for other people. Otherwise, uh, you can post a, uh, a campaign, but it will be rejected. Um, so. Uh, if you do something for the community and you would like a little bit of support and you would like to ask other people for a little bit of help, uh, please visit the website. Uh, if you're rich or even if you're not rich but you've got some expendable cash, please visit the website and uh, donate to one of the projects that you like. Um, and this is where it's going to get technical again and uh, I might completely ruin it. Can I just, can I, I'll tab, does that work? Yeah, well, it works. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I would like to do a quick demo of the website, which uh, I've got a couple of things that I would like to say. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> it's, okay, it's okay. Thank you. We oh, love website. you. You're going to do this, right? I'll, I'll talk about it and you can do it. It's okay, <clears throat> Nash. We love you. It's fine. Thank you. What do you need? Do you need like is, tech site? is hard, man. I'm telling you. Do you need like a DVNT site? <laughs> yes, please. Um, so, like I said, if, uh, if some of you have not seen our website just yet, uh, I really hope that you do. Oh, cool. Um, this is awesome. Is, well, is this foreign? I have no clue what's going on. EveTacNT.uk. Oh, yeah, let's do that. You should know this. I don't, oh, sh <laughs> where's the, where's the, oh, damn it. Let's, let's, oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> yes. We're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, so as you can see, like the presentation sort of followed uh, a little bit uh, the, the, the tabs of the website, which gives you a bit of an idea of all the things that we do, and we do uh, do quite a lot of things. Um, but the thing that we're going to show you just next is in services, uh, and the first thing that we'll show you is the uh, EVENT designer. Let's go there. You can, uh, you can play with this, and I'll, I'll uh, tell a little bit about it. So, um, we, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Tambor Demelian, uh, who uh, was on the CSM once and was, uh, was certainly is to me one of the best, uh, uh, most artistic people uh, in EVE, um, is working uh, or has worked on a, a project called Jeremy. I don't know if uh, some of you know this, but it basically, excellent, uh, it allows you to uh, pose ships and uh, put uh, uh, different lighting on them, different skins in some occasions. Uh, but the tool was very dated, uh, and uh, we started a little campaign for him, uh, gave him a little bit of money and helped him out a little bit. Uh, and uh, he is very close to completion, and uh, I'm sure some of you followers on Twitter, you've seen some of the pictures. Uh, you can actually put your own decals on ships and pose them in any way you like. Um, the, there is an interim program that we've currently got, which is actually built by uh, one of our directors, uh, Vitor. Uh, it's been made together with uh, Tambor, uh, which is the tool that we're just demoing for you just here. Uh, so on the website, you can basically go on this and uh, play with your ships that you like and put certain skins on them, put different suns in the background, um, put different weapons on them, all sorts of uh, cool stuff. So if you, if you like spaceships and uh, you want to pose them in a certain way and make some artwork, uh, please feel free to use this tool. Um, now, this is an interim tool, uh, as the tool that Tambor will be uh, completing very soon uh, will actually allow you to put the decals on and put multiple objects. Uh, we had a very cool video, but unfortunately, uh, I broke that. It, it went bad. It went bad. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's just pretend we didn't do it. In fact, just ignore that. Uh, so yeah, um, if you haven't seen this tool just yet, uh, please feel free to play with this. Uh, it's uh, a fairly simple tool compared to what will be coming out. And uh, like I said, you'll be able to do a lot more with uh, the tool that's coming out very soon. But it just shows you some of the projects that we're working on. So not just uh, all the... Uh, little niceties, we're also doing some really cool technical stuff, so, yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, one more, which is uh, the um, Alliance Tournament Replay tool. Uh, so, uh, a new addition, uh, we always try to expand, there's loads of people that do little projects here and there, and um, now that we're more and more established, uh, we also try and swallow up and uh, accumulate more uh, talented people that could potentially do something really cool for the community. That sounds also, this sound, man, my wording is just, swallow people up, okay. Uh, so one of the things that we've, uh, we've added, uh, and one of the chaps that joined us is Birkov. Uh, he made uh, the Alliance tournament oh, tool. Oh, wow. Um, Everything's fine, keep going. You, you're breaking it? Okay. No. no. Uh, it's basically, uh, I don't know if you remember the nullsec.com uh, tool, which basically allows you to review uh, previously played Alliance tournament matches. Um, it's basically a recreation of that, but it's now uh, publicly available on our website, uh, and you can use it anytime you like. Uh, yeah, what was the You might have to play it uh, uh, in windowed. In windowed? Yeah. Try are, but I am in window. 
Oh God. I promise you this website works. I have no clue what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Um. There we go. Woo! Success. I couldn't have done it better myself. Yeah, but no, you couldn't. <laughs> The fact I'm here proves that. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yes, uh, and again, it's one of those services and, and tools that we've uh, our tech team has built, um, and uh, we're super proud of it. It basically allows you to replay uh, matches played on TQ uh, where uh, the particular API was available. Uh, it's, the rest of it is super technical, so <laughs> there's no point asking me about it. Um, but I'm sure somebody could maybe at this table. Um, uh, we are also looking to use this tool uh, for our Lions tournament broadcast uh, this summer, uh, where uh, we will basically be using this tool to show some of the replays of the matches that we'll be uh, showing. Uh, but like I said, um, feel free to come and use the tool and check it out and give us some feedback if you see anything that we can do uh, to improve it. Or if you're a very clever uh, guy and uh, you want to join the team and you can add any of our little cool tech projects, uh, you know, you're very welcome. Please uh, give us a shout. This is me doing my job right now. Oh, yeah, you just play away, man. You keep playing. Um, and I'm going to close on uh, the last section on our uh, website, which is the About section. Uh, on it, you will find uh, some of the sponsors that we used in the past. Uh, this may be used as an inspiration for um, budding event organizers that may uh, want to look for some sponsors and not sure where to look. You can see some of the people that we've used in the past. Uh, and this is not just in-game sponsors. We've also had a lot of uh, out-of-game sponsors, uh, people like Razer, Multiplay. Um, you know, where we've been able to give away stuff. So, uh, you know, check out that page. Uh, you'll find the staff page, which gives you a bit of an idea of uh, the amount of staff that we have and the volunteers that, uh, that give up their time to put on content for other people. Uh, and it also includes our charity. Uh, so I'm incredibly proud of what we've managed to achieve as an organization for charity. Uh, one of the biggest organizations we support is uh, a charity called UK OTCF. Uh, it's all like nature stuff and they do all sorts of cool stuff uh, and they generally write specific uh, um, campaigns related to EVE so it would be drone related or uh, one of the first one we did was uh, something for Falcons and obviously it was uh, you know the CCP Falcon uh, project um, we've managed to I'll do this in dollars because I've worked this one out it's about seven thousand two hundred dollars that we managed to collect uh, for charity uh, on top of what uh, General Stargazer uh, managed to collect as well so I'm super super proud of that uh, and I think uh, I'm going to close there by saying uh, if you guys are interested in helping out or if you're a content creator, you want to be part of the group. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure that you buy me a beer. Right there, that's fair. Uh, and uh, yeah, just give us a shout. Just uh, come and talk to us. We're not super scary. Um, do we, can we do Q&A if anybody wants any questions? We can do this. We have time. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions related to esports or tech or events Actually, can or? I, can I just add something? If you watch any of the competitions and like, please give us feedback on the, how the camera work is, because like, I can't tell if it's good or not. I just try my best. So if if you can give any sort of feedback on the camera work, that would be great. Shut up. Not the alliance tournament, the championships. <laughs> Uh, skins. So this is uh, the most popular it's question asked. It's been zero days. Yeah, it's been zero days since anybody's <laughs> asked me about skins. Uh, skins are actually ready, uh, but they had to be spawned in game. And since it's FanFest, uh, we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, they will be ready next week. What was that? You didn't win any anyway, dickhead. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> That wasn't, yeah, thank you, yeah, exactly. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Pothney, I see you're burning with a desire to say something. No. no. Awesome. Cool. We're, all, we're done on time then. That's great. Thank you very much.